Have you been wondering what the fight, flight, or freeze response really is and how staying in this response can keep you sick? In this video, we're going to discuss this as well as the polyvagal theory. I'm Brooklyn Hanna. And I'm Nick Hanna, and we're Christian brain rewiring coaches helping you reverse chronic symptoms with neuroplasticity and renewing the mind for Christ. If you enjoy the content we're discussing today, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video every Tuesday. It was once believed by researchers that there were only two neural pathways of the autonomic nervous system. One is the parasympathetic rest and digest, and one is the sympathetic fight or flight. However, Stephen Porges has done incredible research on the autonomic nervous system and suggests that there's actually a third neural pathway. He came up with the polyvagal theory. Poly means many and vagal means the vagus nerve. The polyvagal theory explains how we react and engage with others, how we find safety, and how we survive. The polyvagal theory was developed out of his experiments with the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve serves the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calming aspect of our nervous system mechanics. With his insights, we begin to gradually understand how everything is related. Furthermore, other than the fight, flight, or freeze, there are a few other stress responses that we will discuss in another video. Now let's look at the three neural pathways of the autonomic nervous system. Two of the three neural pathways are the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calming down part, and the other is the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight or flight. These three pathways are responsible for what is known as the fight or flight, social engagement, and freeze mechanism. So as I mentioned, we only have one sympathetic pathway, and this is the fight or flight. This is activated from acute or chronic stressors. But here's the thing. It's not necessarily the stressors, but how you perceive the stressors. For example, two people may see a spider. Ugh. <laughs> One person jumps up That'd and goes you. into fight or flight, like myself, and their heart rate races <laughs> as they try to run away from it in, in fear. The next person may look at it and be like, oh, well, it's just a small spider. Catch and release it back into the environment. The person who jumped up out of fear activated the stress response, while the person who perceived that it is not a big deal didn't activate the stress response. The problem occurs when someone perceives stressors in life as a threat and they are unable to come out of the fight or flight or freeze response and they stay stuck in them. With neuroplasticity, you can train your brain to not perceive certain things as threatening anymore. When you do this, you get out of the fight, flight, or freeze response and symptoms eventually go away. What happens with chronic illness is people get stuck in this fight, flight, or freeze response for prolonged periods of time from the way their brain perceives stress. People are often stuck for years or even decades unless they interrupt this vicious cycle. Some stressors are external as they are things that have happened to you and are out of your control. These are things like your parents getting divorced or a family member passing away. With these stressors, it's important to control how you respond. For those with limbic system dysfunction, it's best to control your thoughts and emotions when trials or stressors are present so you don't spiral down into negativity and initiate the chronic stress response. Negative thoughts and emotions can cause worsening symptoms in those with limbic system dysfunction. Other stressors are things we can control as they are choices that we make on our own such as perfectionism, drinking alcohol, or overworking. These things are rooted in our thinking because we can't do the things like this without thinking about it first. A lot of times it also may be our disconnection from God because sin of many kinds can have a negative impact on the mind and therefore the body. We must carefully filter what we let into our mind because the limbic system is always listening. With limbic system dysfunction, this fight, flight, or freeze response is the cycle you're stuck in, and it is best to interrupt this with self-directed neuroplasticity. So how do you know if you're stuck in fight or flight? When you're stuck in this fight or flight, you may feel revved up, anxious, you feel very mobile, you have symptoms of panic, fear, anger, irritation, frustration. You also get physical symptoms such as increased blood pressure, heart rate, adrenaline, dilated pupils, reduced digestion activity, and reduced immune system. If you're in this state, you may be talking very fast. Sometimes it may feel like you have a lot of energy, but really it's all the stress hormones running through your body, such as adrenaline, norepinephrine, and cortisol. 
Staying stuck in the chronic stress response can make you more susceptible to disease. Your immune system can become compromised, leading to more vulnerability to infections and to toxins. It's not always just the environment and your genetics at the root of chronic symptoms. What many people don't realize is that this state can also occur because of negative thinking patterns, negative emotions, and choices in life. Do you feel like you're stuck in this fight or flight state? Comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Now, we don't want you to focus on the symptoms of these different states, but it is very beneficial to be aware of the effect stress has on the nervous system. That way, when you get a symptom of either fight or flight or freeze, you can be like, yeah, it's just my limbic system, just my nervous system, and not go down the obsessive rabbit holes of why, 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 which food, which toxin is it? We don't want you to go there. So the problem is a dysfunctional limbic system and nervous system. Okay, so we don't want you to stay there, but the good news is that you can get out of it with neuroplasticity and brain rewiring. Now let's talk about the other two pathways, which are both parasympathetic and the calming state. One of them is good and one of them is not ideal to be stuck in. We'll talk about the other less than ideal parasympathetic pathway first. The other stress state is the freeze state. This is when you feel very lethargic, shut down, tired, you feel disassociated or disconnected, low motivation, maybe some brain fog, you feel hopeless and keep saying you can't do anything. This state also produces physical symptoms which are decreased heart rate, lack of facial expressions or eye contact, low sexual and immune responses, and a lot more. How many of you feel like you're stuck in this state? Comment below. Most people with chronic symptoms, I guess if not all, are stuck in either fight or flight or freeze, or they bounce back between the two. No matter which state you're stuck in, or if you bounce back between the two, you can get out of them, which is the next state we're going to talk about. Okay, so now let's get to the good news. The other parasympathetic state is called social engagement. This is what people call rest and digest. This is where we all want to be. This is the state we accomplish with consistent brain retraining. In a social engagement state, we feel very mindful and aware of what's going on around us. Our mind isn't racing about the past or the future. We feel very present in the moment and joyful and compassionate towards ourselves and others. In our physical bodies, we typically have better digestion, intestinal motility, resistance to infections and toxicities, the ability to connect and socialize with others. We're able to tolerate foods and other things in the environment. We're just normal and healthy. So how does this sound? I believe you can all get there, but here's the deal. It takes work on your part. Many of you have been hit with stressors for years, so it is important to train your limbic system to get out of this response. Again, there's more to balancing your nervous system and limbic system than just addressing external factors such as diets, protocols, and eliminating toxins. This is especially true for those with limbic system dysfunction. Once your limbic system is balanced, you will be able to tolerate more external stressors as many of you could prior to getting symptoms. If you commit to retraining your brain, you can get into the parasympathetic social engagement state. Do you believe you can? Comment 100% below if you believe you can. Many people are getting back into this social engagement state with brain retraining where they feel optimal. Inside our limbic system rewire program, we have people giving it their all with brain rewiring and now they are mentally clear, eating the foods they love, gaining energy, sleeping through the night. Some of them are even back to work, making a living, enjoying quality time with their family and the list goes on. So if they can, you can too. So when you get back into the social engagement state, your body is better able to handle the environment, trials that come um, that are out of your control and other stressors in your life you'll get away from feeling like you're on an emotional roller coaster. So I hope it was helpful to understand the fight, flight, or freeze response. Remember, we don't want you to overanalyze this or focus on symptoms, but being aware of this can be very helpful. So you can stop looking for the cause to all your symptoms and obsessively researching because consistently looking for the why behind them all is just going to feed the stress response and make the symptoms worse. If you start brain rewiring, you can get your nervous system back into the social engagement state where you feel joyful, in the present moment, alert, and socially engaged. If you want to learn about what limbic system dysfunction is, check out our video from last week, which is called, What is Limbic System Dysfunction?
click the card here. If you would like to have us help you rewire your brain and reverse your chronic symptoms with a Christian approach, fill out our form below and set up a free call with someone on our team. The link is listed below. Otherwise, we also do have a free Facebook group called Brain Rewiring for Health and Happiness. Join today for the best brain rewiring tips. The link is below. God bless. And Godspeed. Thank you.